Kaner Universe AIDS, Kaner Tip Tuesday, and today, cane moves, these cane moves for better mobility, stability, that's a biggie, and self-protection. But before we go into that, a warm welcome as always, especially if you're here for the first time. Go ahead before we forget. If you love the content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you don't miss any future content and avail yourself of the free resources, the most important by far, the no-cost cane clarity call. Text the letter CCC to the number on the screen and in less than 24 hours, we will be on a phone call with you discussing, learning what it is that attracts you about the cane, better movement, whether you want self-protection, you have questions about the canes themselves, more importantly, how can you get cane trained? Because that call, you're actually gonna take notes on it. You're gonna walk out a much more educated caner, especially if you're here for the first time, you're just learning of this. It's gonna save you tons of time, funds, and frustration. Also, we have private um, Facebook groups that are now open to the public. Read the description, request entry, and they will let you right in. It's a medical device that can save your life and it can easily be turned into a tool of empowerment. And without a doubt, without a doubt, the, the, the biggies are better mobility, especially after a certain age. And if you're smart, you're gonna start off, well, when you don't need it. But the next best time to do it is now. And so these are three um, movements that they're relatively, they're easy to do. ACSD cane flow uh, movements at a foundational level um, should be very easy to demonstrate. And then I'll show you the practical application uh, for self-protection. But the first of those is a very simple step and drag. And if you look down here, this is where, if you're using the cane here and it represents 12 o'clock, an incoming strike, whether it's coming on this up and down plane, it's coming straight towards your, your midline, it represents you getting off the line, stepping and dragging that foot, almost in a, in a perpendicular fashion. So you're here, and you're moving and there's a variety of things regardless of what you're doing with the hands you want to focus on this movement stepping and dragging as you're moving out of the way you'll notice that my shoulder moves out so if i have a, a cane in hand i go from here to here this might be the movement might be from here to here and i can do that forward or i can do that backward but this is a step and drag and in application if you have a two-handed push or grab somebody's coming to choke you in here oh, you, you didn't right so what you're looking to do is simply to do this and get out now notice i didn't do anything with the cane i can but i'm just simply showing you the value of not being there now the entire center line is exposed and now it's up to you what it is that you're going to do through here you know the same thing happens with the empty hand Right? So it's the same thing, he throws this strike, or in this case he throws a strike. I'm gonna move in here. I'm, I now control this center line. I can get in here and do something about this. Notice that it leaves you close enough to this individual. See the love tap down here because the cane gives you that reach advantage. It, he is fully committed. I'm not here, but more importantly, I can do something about getting away. Now, if you wanna go ahead once you're here and do that to stop somebody or come in here, that's a whole nother, but what got you there, see, it gets you out of trouble and it puts you in a position where you can actually do something about it. That's called a step and drag and it's practiced very gentle here. See, it's very, it's not intimidating. That's what pain flow is all about. They see you doing this in the park. Nobody says, oh, look at that vicious application. Uh, you know, that, that guy's dangerous with the tool. <clears throat> the second one, we call it an ACSD, a skater which is this kind of movement. It had, it's this and this and this because it, ori it originates from this. That's where the, the, the idea came from. But basically it's this movement. You are transferring your weight back and forth. And the importance of this is that it acts as a leg strengthener. Now, I concur if you follow Sobrevivencia with Maestro Reese, who says, 70%, you know, you start loosening. It, it's the most important muscle group are your quadriceps, your lower body. Because if we're not active, if we're sitting down, you start losing um, mass from there, 
and, and then it makes it very difficult to be functional, especially if you have to get up quick in an emergency. Along with this movement, I would throw in their squatting for strengthening and stability, right? With the toe slightly pointed outward, you're gonna keep a slight bend in the knee and the feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. You can use your cane as a stability and the movement is just like you were going to sit with the knees behind the toes. I believe every caner should have the ability, the physical ability to transfer their weight from here to here in this movement. You say, well, what do I do with the cane? Well, that's a rel that depends on your training and your cane handling skill, but I'm showing you the movement from here to here, okay? And that's important because if I'm caught here, I can't be moving around, can't do a step and drag, right? Because there's something, here. And, and, and he throws a shot real quick, bang, I just move out of here. See, I'm transferring that weight and coming right back to strike. So I'm taking that and coming right back to strike. ACSD caners will know it because you have it in a form and an exercise where you come in here, use the horn and crook also to take that leg out. But the movement, if he were throwing a shot here, is this, see the transferring of the weight, now full coming back and going to the groin for a groin pull, for instance. Right? And then you can step in here and take this out. As an example, you're coming here, pop, pop, then with this leg, take that leg, take them, sweep that leg off. But you see that it's this kind of movement that's coming here. And there, there are many applications to that. Right? Um, getting to the two hands in here. Well, and, and, and I'm being so, I'm using my stability here. Maybe he's pulling me and I'm gonna go with that. So I turn, but see how I have to go from here to here. Now all this ex is exposed for the simple reason that he insists on hanging on, but don't miss how this happened. I have to come here and turn, right? And shift my weight from here to here, which leads me to the third movement. And that is just the pivot blend, which you can see it there. And that movement looks this way. So. If you look at the feet pointing towards you, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit a blend here. The front foot stays adducted right to the outside. Now, <clears throat> you have a strong rush coming in, a, a two-handed push, whether it be a punch or whatever. What, oh, gosh, th there it is, right? You're using your cane to come up. Oh, stop. Ah, oh, now you can go ahead. Now you can hit the exposed ribs. See, it's a secondary movement from there. Um, you can come in. Here it is. All this backside now is open to you. The whole backside is open. Now, how did you get there? Well, what you're doing is you're seeing things the same way, right, on that pivot blend. You can do it to one side. You can do it to the other side. But it's one of the ways to... Now, I can't deal with this younger, stronger, faster. I'm not going to engage in this situation, put my cane up where he grabs that, right? But even if he does go, you know, when he grabs that cane, I'm still going to go towards the midline and turn, right? Now, he's locked up here, right? That's a whole other topic. But notice that the movement is this, it's towards his midline and away. You okay? I heard the snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> so you're locking up here, pivoting and then going, but it's the pivot. So so pay attention here, because if you put it all together, you have a, a, a flow in there, right? You have your step and drag. Now I'm handling the cane here. You're gonna handle at whatever level you want what you're doing there, irrelevant, but look at the feet. There's your step and drag, right? And now you're gonna start moving in this rotation. So you see how you start turning that into a flow if you're walking because here is that skater movement see look at the skater here's the step and drag here's the skater here's your blend and you see how you start putting that into a continuous flow that you can train see that every movement that you do in cane flow is gonna have that application now as you're doing this, you keep going, you keep going, you're gonna notice, hey, some of you are gonna find, right? And that just means you haven't, you haven't done it. You're always gonna go slow. You're gonna go at your own pace. If you're doing it for exercise, obviously. Medical clearance first, doctor's okay, and all that, right? <clears throat> you, nothing in ACSD or cane flow should make an injury worse. There shouldn't be any sharp pain. There are movements um, that should not aggravate any injury or anything that you're going 
through. And if you have a coach and instructor that can actually show you the functional application, because that is the hallmark of cane flow, ACSD cane flow, is that within the movements that you're doing to improve your stability, your better balance, your circulation, get your limb, all these health benefits that come with it, there's functional application, okay? And listen, the, the, how do you learn? How do you get into this? Because there's a foundation, there's a step-by-step. -step. Do yourself a favor, it's the best thing you can do, is text the letter CCC for that cane clarity call. It doesn't cost you a penny. You're gonna have all your questions answered. Text it to the number on the screen, in less than 24 hours, we'll be on a call. Uh, I'm Joe Robina for American Cane, Self-Defense Cane Club. Thanks for watching, keep caning, stay safe.